stomping house, Russian Paul. Me hungry. Time to make Paul's breakfast. Hey, Paul, flapjacks. Flapjacks. <laughs> 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 Yeah. All right, uh, let's get started on lunch. And, uh, wait, where's Lenny? Hello? Can anybody hear me? I think I found a way out. It's not pretty, but it'll do. Right, look, we gotta do something about Bunyan. We're going bankrupt just feeding and clothing the guy, not to mention the crushings. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. I, hey, I say we get him drunk and drag him out of town. Same way we got rid of Laura Ingalls Wilder. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, hey, Paulie, uh, what say we buy your beer? Uh, you guys are the greatest friends a giant doofus could have. <laughs> Good Lord, brought down by one beer. And a couple of these babies. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the bond dance. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, they don't want me anymore. Paul was just as lonely as a man could get, so he took out his axe and he carved himself a pit. And, uh, and, uh, oh, boy, I wish you were real. Oh, it's a miracle! I'll call you Babe. You'll be my best friend. So Paul and his blue ox Babe traveled all across this great land, leaving their mark. never fought Rodan. And his size seems to be really inconsistent. I mean, one minute he's ten feet tall, the next his feet are as big as a lake. Hey, 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 who's the hobo here? I'm just saying. Now Paul and Babe were a mighty fine match. But the man had an itch that an ox couldn't scratch. Huh? <gasps> She's pretty. <gasps> Oh, what a handsome man. 